Hello guys, in this tutorial we will see single inheritance and as well as we will take one example also. So in single inheritance there will be simply two classes like that. Like one is base class, second is derived. You can say one is parent, second is child. So single inheritance one class extend another class. So this B class is extended and it is taking some data from A. So class B will take some data from A and class A will provide some information to B. So that is what single inheritance. There will be a relationship with the two classes. So one will be provider and the second will be taker. So there will be a code reusability concept because whatever code we have in A you can reuse in B. So that is the advantage of single inheritance and it is one of the simplest inheritance because there will be only two classes so no confusion will be there. So in above diagram class B extends only class A. A is a super and B is a subclass. So here A you can say super and B is a subclass or you can use simple name base and derived. So here we will take the syntax, syntax will be very simple, here this one derived class you can say subclass extends with the super class that is parent class. So this one is the example friend, we have the structure like base and derived class. Base class as it is you can write, but here derived class is written like derived class name extends and here base class name and then you can define the body. So here class name 2 can take some data from 1. So how it take that we will see in the eclipse. So here this is the diagrammatical representation that you are knowing. So here this is base and this is derived. So programmatically you observe this is one class that is base and this is second that is derived. And as I told you B will take the data from A. So now we move on the eclipse and we will uh, see that program execution in the eclipse so friend here i will add base and derived class so my first class is suppose a so here i am taking one method public void and uh, my method is suppose sum you can take any name and uh, in this method we are taking one simple output statement so here I am writing some method. So this is the sum method which I am putting in class A. Same way you can do class B. So I just copy this code and uh, paste it here. So here I am changing name B extends A. So that is my derived class. Here I am taking different name so here i am writing someone method so structure is very simple friend this is the base class having the method message we are printing some method this is the derived class and here someone method and we are printing the message someone method then in the main method that is the separate class and uh, here we can create the derived class object that is b because b is our derived class b equals to new b then after this by using this object friend you can access you see here we can access both the methods sum and sum1 b dot sum1 both method we can access so here we will see now this you see here after the object we are accessing base and then derived class method checking the output so here there is a error in my program like semicolon I forgot so friend here you should give semicolon upside also I forgot now I am running program run command and uh, then you are getting the output here downside you observe some method and someone because why we have the derived object so you can take base data and derived data and uh, suppose in place of b you create here object of a means base object then you find out here friend 
you will get the error your program will not run your program will not run as I told you you will get problem so simply you have to remove this sentence and now you run the program then you observe friend because of that base class you can take the data from base class only you cannot take the data from derived class otherwise the error will come so that the reason in main method we take the derived object so that you can access the data from base and derived so i hope friend you understood this tutorial so thanks for watching thank you